the exercise that we discussed in the previous video was to scrap this particular website so we need the heading the first paragraph and author date let's look at this example so category and tag so we know that we will need a for loop to go through each of these blogs so let's use our selector gadget click on the selector gadget and the heading whatever we don't want we will click again to deselect and that's all we needed so we have exactly five selections so let's copy this selector response dot this selector and text because i'm just going to call get method we get the first one that we will get everything we can verify that we are getting everything now we need to get the first paragraph so clear this and this is actually the first paragraph we don't want the second paragraph so we want the first paragraph so whatever we want we will click it so first paragraph is selected first paragraph is selected so we have first paragraph selected from all the blogs copy the selector verify it here Yes, we are getting first sentence from all those five blocks, but of course we will need to change to get instead of get all. Now, moving on, we need to get the author. So let's click on author and there it is. We got the error from selector gadget that it is not able to build a selector. So selector gadget is actually useful in most of the scenarios, but not all. So right click on the author name and inspect a url f and doesn't look useful author v card this looks very straightforward so we'll take this class so if you want to use two classes then we will remove the space and put a dot so this is the selector and this verifies that we are able to select the span but what we need is text inside this a tag so let's modify the selector so we are able to get the author let's verify that we will get all the authors get all and we are getting all five times it's the same author but yes our selector is correct let's move on right click on date inspect and this is entry date published actually very easy so response dot css and no space and dot and all we need is text get all gives us five get gives us one now next is category so for category we can actually go for this class get links so response dot css get links dot get all and we have the categories this one has tag so for tag it's tag links instead of cat links we have tag links so get all is what we will be using and let's see what is the loop that we will be running on so every blog is inside one article tag so let's write the code directly in the spider this time scrappy scrappy gen spider blogs and let me show you something cool let's give any domain doesn't matter what you are giving here and then open this file blogs in visual studio code and this is where we have xy.com and whatever allow domain not required when we are dealing with simple spiders and now we will copy this and paste it here in the start url so let's look for all the article tags and this is our blogs note that i am not calling get or get all method right now because we will be running a loop for blog and blogs and now on the individual items we will be running our selectors so instead of response.css we will say blog.css so now we have everything in place 
so what we can do is we can create our dictionary so everything looks okay so let's go ahead and run it go to the command prompt scrappy run spider blogs.py and let's directly output to a json file we can see the summary item scrapped count 5 so let's look at the json5 directly all blogs so let's format it and we can see that the title summary author date categories wherever applicable and tags is empty here because there was no tag here we have categories and tags both so this is a simple spider which has created all the items Thank you.